Hello and welcome back to Vixen Purples Crochet and More. I am your host Cheryl. It is good to see you guys again. Sorry I have been absent. Today is January 20th. Yep, 20th. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, time has already flied. First of the year, now we've gotten to almost, almost to the end of the month. <laughs> so anyhow, today I wanted to come on and show you guys um, some finished objects and uh, I gotta think, <laughs> um, let you guys know on some of the things that I have decided to do. Um, one is about crochet patterns and what I have made and some other stuff. I'm still working on my makes that you guys have seen last, last couple of videos. I'm still working on those, but I do have a finished whip that I did on my C2C so it's finished so I'm going to show that to you guys tonight um, today I'm also going to show you a rough hat pattern design that I came up with for my son because he says oh mom I like this one but can you make it longer well usually I make hats that kind of fit my head which is about 22 roughly 22 well my son's hat heads a little wider because he's a boy and a little bit longer because he's a boy <laughs> so anyhow let's get started and showing me what i've got going um so far but first i wanted to show you the some mix i watched um crystal from bag day she came out with well she's come out with a couple of hat patterns but the one i started was this one i forgot the name of it but this is what i came out came up with for me, it's a little big and stuff. I'm not too dissatisfied with my San Andreas fault here, as everybody would like to say. And that is it. It uh, fits a little big on me, but that's okay. So, and this is what it looks like. Definitely too big on my face. I thought my son would like it, but he's like, no, nah, it's okay. I don't like it, Mom. Um, I like the pattern, but I don't like the pattern. I mean, everything that she does is good. Don't get me wrong. This is a really great idea, and I like it. But it didn't get, the only thing that gave me difficulties was this brim here and the length. I think I would have liked it should have shortened it up a bit but that's that's okay but this is the pattern that she came up with this is using i want to say this is the red heart tweed in the color aaron i think aaron or buff one of the two but it's a tweedy there give you guys a look at it so not ha not dissatisfied with the hat but i thought it was pretty good so i got that done this week also, I decided to, not decided, Cheryl, stop. Um, I came up with a container to keep up with my, my ball bands. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I picked this container up at the Dollar Tree. Oh, probably a good six, six or seven months ago. I don't know if they still have these. They may. I don't know. I didn't look. But I picked up like four of them um, for little odds and ends. So I decided to put my ball bands that I have created for this year to see how far I've gone in there. And unfortunately, some of these ball bands are from 23. And then the rest is for this, this year. Um, but let me show you. So that's where I'm going to keep my ball bands at but let me show you guys what I completed and it's this is heavy surprisingly heavy and I actually messed up I I started decreasing it a little too soon it should have been like a couple more rows longer but I'm not dissatisfied but here it is this is this this is where I, whoops, let me get over here. <laughs> this is the last time you guys saw 
where I had had done and I attached it here. I finished it and I did a kind of a block stitch um, border type thing. This is literally this and where I came off is where I cut it off but this is all I have left of all those balls of the red heart not red heart Cheryl come on um homespun in the cake form so and this is the color circus I did add where are you see I can't even find anything anymore I did add some black in here or there it is it's more of a grayish color I did add that uh, ball in there and I basically finished it up so like I said this is I should have gone longer but I didn't but I managed to get all balls in there and then some <laughs> so this is a completed project and like I said this is very heavy and it's got some nice texture to it I don't know if you guys can see the texture but it's got nice texture on there so I am glad that this is done and over with and I got eight balls nine balls technically in a blanket that is considered done so um I was just kind of I had a oh I wish I had a ball here that I could show you but I had a I had some yarn that's basically mystery yarn I don't know the colorway I don't know what brand it is so I call it mystery yarn but I had enough to make a hat and this is what I came up with well basically my pattern that I make but this is what's was left and literally played yarn chicken with the ball so there's one hat down and one ball out of my my yarn this is uh, another Another one that I was playing around with some stitches, basically with the like the two dot half double crochets together stitch. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that is another hat that I came up with. And Holly, sorry guys, Holly's is is down here with me, and so is Oscar and Rascal. There, Rascal and Oscar are back there someplace. Probably buried under blankets. Don't know. And Holly's coming down here being, being vocal. Because she's a husky. And huskies like to talk. <laughs> Anyhow, I wound up at having enough to do a crab stitch uh, border on it. This is all the left I have over from the, the, um, the little cake that I had of yarn in it. So that's one hat. That's one, two, three hats done. <clears throat> so... The other one, whoops, the other one I had, um, it was black and it was a half used skein. I thought I was going to have enough because my son came home with a knitted beanie and I'm like going, it was store bought and I'm like going, how come you didn't ask me for some hats? Well, I was cold is what he said and I got it and I'm like going, I could have made you hats, still can make you hats. So I came up with this well he puts it on and it comes up to here on him so it doesn't fit but it fits me just fine as a skull cap see <laughs> it fits me so yeah he's just like just find something other different mom okay so that's one hat <laughs> I got done the so I came down and I told him I says I showed him this the red hat. And I go, would you like this kind or would you like just the this style a shell on the for the pattern? And he goes, I want the red one. So I did the red one, but this time I did it in black. And then I had to add it along. This hat literally swallows my whole head, literally. But I left enough on here and I didn't quite finish it off so that way I can measure it on him 
and see how well he likes it. He goes, but mom, I want something on my head where I could just kind of fold up the brim. I said, okay, see what I can do. So I came up in black, the same pattern. I don't know if you can, there we go. See, there's the pattern. But I added some length so where he could fold it up. Whoops, sorry guys, I dropped the thing. <laughs> so, so this is how the hat looks upon me. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a little big, but this is what his idea was, is to do it that way. So I'm hoping he's going to like it, see if, how well he he does, see, how, see what he thinks. So, and like I said, it was long. He's got a longer face and a longer, a bigger head. So I made, a, made this with a J hook and I think it's still a little too tight, but that's okay. It's a hat for him to wear. But that's one thing on what I've done. This is what I've managed to get done in the last two weeks. Was finish the blanket and do three, four hat, five hats. So I finished this one up today. Um, so we'll see what my son thinks of this and go from there. So anyhow, I have... Basically picked out a, pa a pattern book that I want to work out with for this um, this year. And unfortunately, I didn't get it. But if you guys hold on just a moment, I'll run and grab it. And I will show you what I've gotten so far. Hold on, please. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go run and grab the book. So you guys knew that I bought this uh, last year many, many videos ago. And it was the... It's called Crochet Magical Creatures 20 Amigurumi, tw pardon me, 20 Easy Amigurumi Patterns, and it's by Drew Hill. So this is the pattern book. These are, let me see if I can find the pat page real quick. This shows all the critters that's in this book. There it is. So there's one page. There's the other page. So I started on this. I'm starting with her. Her name is, what is her name? I should know that. Diva the Dragon. Divina, sorry. Hold on just a second. So there she is. That's her name, and that's where I was starting, and I picked out the colors that I thought, I'm going to set that right there, they would look good. So I have three colors here, but let me get her body. So right here now, eyes are in, there's the body, still working on her. So that's this color here, and it's called uh, Lavender, and it's the Red Heart Super Saver in Lavender. This is, I believe, also Red Heart label. I just didn't have a label of a ball band for it. It's a half-used skein, so I'm going to put this. This is going to be the details of the feet and the horns. And then I have the dark purple. Same thing, Red Heart. So those are the three colors that I'm working on with this pattern. Um, the, these yarns are the ones that I've picked up over the course of the year through um, the thrift store and or marketplace or wherever I found them at. So I'm using that to start with. The other thing I've been thinking about doing is <clears throat> every time I, I showed you guys completed patterns. So this is what I've got. Since I have a lot of these notebooks from the thrift store, I decided to put crochet um, complete patterns completed in the year of 2024 in here, even though I fi finished these last year. But this is all the patterns that I completed last year, and I'm sitting there going, well, I could just go ahead and fill it up. So I've got a divider in there for that. And then... I create have another pattern book folder 
that have all the patterns that I would like to work on. And it basically says the same thing. It says the crochet patterns that I would like to work in 2024. This book is thick. It's a one inch binder and stuff. So this is where I'm at. And you see, this was supposed to be done from last year, but I didn't get to do it all because I kept on adding to it. So a lot of these are paid for patterns and stuff, free patterns that I'm going to try to do. Let me just take these out and kind of show you guys some of the stuff that I wanted to do with these here. Now, you're probably going to say, you're not going to get through this. I know that. I'm no, I'm only one person, and it's just going to be stuff that I would like to get done because I bought these patterns. I need some of these bought, bought for patterns, pay uh, free patterns, that kind of stuff. So, like this is um, this is I bought this pattern from Etsy, uh, and it's from Cattley Cat Crochet, and this is one of her Swallow Baby um, patterns. This is one that I'd like to get into starting. I have to put that over here. Um, 3M, 3AM Grace Designs was having patterns on sale and they were really, really fairly cheap. So I bought a couple of patterns and this is one that I bought that this is one I want to do for my husband because he likes playing guitars. So I wanted to get him this one to make. It is a uh, guitar. Yeah, so that's one. The other one is a candy corn. I want to get that one done. And like I said, it's 3 a.m. 3 a. Grace Designs. She has a had a really cute owl that I'd like to get done. She also had a black cat that I'd like to do. And a gnome, because I like gnomes too. So there's the gnome picture. I know this, I, oh, about two years ago, I bought uh, Bag o Day's um, patterns on a thumb drive and I had printed up a couple that I've been wanting to get done. I know I could go on her channel and look it up, but I figured, hey, I'll just have the patterns. So this is one of them that I want to get done. Here's another one that I'd like to get done because I have lots of uh, um, unforgettable and landscapes yarn to do. Um, the other one I'd like to do is this Lost in Times uh, shawl because one of you fabulous uh, subscribers said this would be a great pattern to do. So I'm going to do this one. Well, I'd like to do this one. The other one is, is I have some chunky yarn. I might pull this one out because I have a whole bunch of chunky yarn that um, will definitely do this. And this one is called, geez, I got to get my glasses um, here. Let me put it up here. <clears throat> it's a free pattern. That's what it looks like. This is on Yarn Inspirations. The other one I'd like to do is a blanket. I don't know if I'm going to get it done, but I want to get try to do this one too. I think it's very pretty. Another, and that was a free pattern. This was also a free pattern on Hobie, and it's called To the Moon and Back Shawl or Scarf. I'd like to try that one as well because I have lots of three weight yarns that would, would look good with this. And um, I had a membership to Happy to Hook uh, magazine. They closed it down for some reason. And I was able to get a bunch of patterns off that. So they had a pattern set that I'd like to try too. This is also on my to-do list. Or would like to get done. The other one is, I don't remember where I got this pattern, but I think... It was a free pattern, and it's called Ellie the Butterfly, because I love butterflies as well. And there was uh, a free pattern from, by Ella mentioned, 
Ella from No Catchy Name has mentioned this pattern. Um, it was a free pattern and it was called Gem Bag Holder. So that's one I want to get done as well. Or I'd like to do. This is another one from Bag O' Day that I'd like to do too. Is this one? The other one is by Lion Brand and it's called the Ferret Cow. And it's also made out of chunky yarn. Free pattern. Um, I think this was a free pattern off of Ravelry. And it's called the um, Unconventional Shawl. It's kind of very pretty. I want to do that one as well. I would like to do that one. See, lots of lots of things I'd like to do. <laughs> um, this was a free pattern on Yarnspiration. And it's a shawl. I do not know what the name is because I can't see it. But that's the pattern. If you guys can see it very well. Sorry for the glare. But that's the pattern. That's on the want to do list. Um, this one, I believe, was also was from Happy to Hook uh, magazine, and there was a couple of them. So there was this uh, this here. <clears throat> it's a hat, and the other one is a octopus. So those are some that I want to do. Um, I think this was a free pattern. It's a headband. I do not remember. I think it was off of Ravelry that I found it on. This one was a paid for pattern. No, it was a free pattern on Ravelry. Glad I marked it. And it's the No So Spider Amigurumis. My son, my oldest son, has a fear of spiders. And I feel like being mean making a bunch of these and putting them around his room. <laughs> Will I do it? I don't know. Another thing that's been on a long time on my list is the Enchanted Unicorn. It's off of a Yarnspiration pattern. And this is what I've been wanting to do just for my daughter because she loves unicorns and horses just as much as I do. And that's what she looks like completed. So that is one I want to do. The other one is a, a shawl, and it's called Nina. I do not know where I got this pattern. I think it's free on Ravelry. It's in black and white, though. It's very, very pretty. This is what it looks like completed. So that's another pattern that I'd like to try to get done. Now... <clears throat> Your Inspirations has a couple of capelets on there. I've done one of them already, but this is another one that I want to see about doing. And then it has, there's another one. It's called Happy Go Lacy Shawl that I'd like to do as well. So, yeah, there's a lot. This one's called the Spider Stitch Crochet Wrap. That's what it looks like. I would show you the, the front, but it's awfully dark. See? That's what happens when I print in black and white. The other one I want to do is this one. It's a um, triangular type shawl. Is that one? I mean, there's a lot. And it just... Now is only part of it, guys. I still haven't finished it all. <laughs> so there's a lot in there. There's this one. It's called Bright Bars Crochet Shawl. That's by Yarnspiration. There's this Fairy Tales Shawl. I don't remember exactly where I got it. I think I got it off of Ravelry. But I'm not 100% sure. There's that one. And of course, Amigurumi's. This is one pattern that I've been wanting to do for a little bit. It's a little duck. And it's by Tara, by Moogly, or not, Sarah Zimra, repeat, repeat, repeat Crafter Me. 
This is her pattern. It was on, on Yarnspirations for free. There's this uh, big crochet bear that I've been wanting to do as well. He looks kind of cute. Since I have enough blanket yarn to last me a lifetime, I should be able to use it. This is also a free pattern. I think it's off of Ravelry. I won't know for sure. Or it's off of a blog. But this is the pattern I want to do too. The other one is another uh, triangle shawl. And it's called Fern Fernanda. It's really pretty. That's what the shawl looks like. The other one is hair scrunchies, but I think this was a, pa a paid for pattern on Happy to Hook. So it's hair scrunchies. Let's see if I can show you the picture. It's not really good, but they're hair scrunchies, is what they are. Because that's a good way to use up scraps. The other one is a Hobie design, it's called Magic Wool Shawl that I'd like to see about doing. Looks very pretty. My printer screwed up on printing. And then there is the squishy saurus crochet pattern by our inspirations. Want to do that one because my husband likes music and stuff. I want to make these keychains for him. These I think were a free pattern. Um, don't remember where, but yeah, it was a free pattern that I found. So, and then I want to do this messenger bag from Lion Brand. So I have lots and lots of patterns in here. I think this one was a free pattern as well. I think it was off of um, Ravelry. That's one. This is a paid for pattern and it's called Aliens by Judy's by Judy Chadwick. Because um, my husband likes aliens and stuff, so I want to do this one too for him. I've got to get the yarn. Um, the Alana shawl, I believe this was a free pattern on Ravelry. That's one of them I want to do. I uh, don't remember where I got. This pattern is called Butterfly Apple K. I've done this before. Oh, I think I know where I got this one. Um, what is that Facebook page? There's a Facebook page where it's called Carrying, Carrying Something, where you can get free patterns and do stuff and we'll put these around town and stuff. I thought I would do that. I just have to find the time to make them all. This also came from that particular um, Facebook page, which is the lipstick holders. Good way to use up scrap yarns. I think this one came from the same place. And it's called Velvet Hugs. I need to keep these ones out because guess what? Valentine's Day is coming out real soon. <laughs> and there's this one too. I think this was also from the same place on Facebook. Is it these? So I want to get those. This one was a free pattern on this website. I don't remember where, and I don't have my glasses to say, but it's called Amy B. Stitched. This is a paw print um, shawl or scarf. Scarf. And that's the one I want to try to do too. So that one there. This is a uh, called a Journey Rwanda. I want to do this. I have some um, perfect phasing Karen cakes that I want to use. And this is the one I was thinking about using it on. It's this one. This is on Premiere for free. I need to get this cotton out and use up for this. It's a little set. From Yarnspirations. I've been wanting to do this pillow. It's also from Yarnspirations. It's 
called the moon phasing. This one's going to be a little bit of adventurous for me because it's cute and it's called the piece of my heart crochet blanket. And it looks like it might be a part of a granny square style piece. So that's another thing I've been wanting to do. But right now I'm kind of, I don't know if I want to do that right away. <laughs> this is a cardigan that um, I want to try to get. It's a uh, do and it's called the boyfriend party. It's really pretty. I would do that in a solid color. So that's one pattern that I might be doing this year too hopefully the other ones are amigurumis it's called uh twinkie tiger it's a yarn inspiration pattern since i have plenty of chenille and velvet yarn and there's dazzling dino this is really cute too it's a little bunny rabbit called rainbow bunny Almost done, guys. Also, this is called Crystal Cat. Just think about doing that one, too. That one's... I don't know when I'm planning on doing it, but this is one of um, Expression Fiber Arts uh, patterns. I got this when it was a free pattern. Now it's a paid-for pattern. It's called the Dura Shawl. I'd like to get that one started. I have some nice uh, Hobby Lobby yarn that I can probably make that with. The other one, I thought this this was really kind of ironic because right, right here is the exact stuff that I would need to make for this guy. And um, this is called, this one is made out of the uh, snow cone yarn from Premier. I'm thinking about starting this one too, just to start using up my snow cone yarn. So that's gonna probably go on a list to get started right away. And then of course, you guys know that I've been wanting to do the um, Horizon cardigan, but with my, uh, from Hobie, but with my daughter wanting a cardigan like this, I chose to kind of wing it myself and not follow the pattern. So there is that one. That one's going to go on the list. Yeah, there's two of them here. And there's called the Soap Sacks. Uh, once No Strings Fold Over Soap Saver. This is one of them. This was a free pattern, I believe. I don't remember where I got it from. And the other one is called Simple Soap Saver. Good way to use up the cotton uh, scraps and stuff. So that is what I've got on my in my folder for wanting to try to get done this year. Am I going to succeed? I probably won't, but that's okay. That's why I have my other folder for my completed to show what I have done throughout the year. But baby steps, always baby steps. Well, anyhow, guys, this is what I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are having partly cloudy skies with in the low 30s, which is okay, I guess. It's better than freezing and not dealing with minus degrees weathers like we did on Monday. And uh, yeah, that was not fun. I hated being that cold, but that was the way it was. Um, so anyhow, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. I know I've taken up a lot of your times. Big hugs from me to you guys. I'm still working on the $500, 500 giveaway box. So as soon as I can get that ready, I will be having that taken care of and we'll do that. Um, there's just a lot going on. I will try to do like a vloggy type video here shortly. Um, but today I just wanted to show you guys what I've made so far and completed and all that other fun stuff. Anyhow, guys, you guys take good, take good care of yourselves. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.